I have a lot of what some may call weird phobias. Now, I would disagree. I think being afraid of small children is completely reasonable. But today we're looking at the weirdest phobias to make myself feel better. And I'm gonna let you in on a couple of my phobias as well. Number one, Arachi Butty Rophobia. The fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. While the phenomenon has happened to everyone at one point or another, people with Arachi Butty Rophobia are extremely afraid of it. The fuck is your problem? The severity of Arachi Butty Rophobia varies from person to person. Some with this condition may be able to eat small amounts of peanut butter, but others will completely avoid eating pe peanut, pe pe peanut butter or anything with a similar consistency, like poop. It can stem from a greater phobia of sticky things or a fear of choking. It may also stem from a traumatic incident with peanut butter. Which is a good segue, I actually do have a fear of peanut butter on my dick. Especially when dogs are around. I don't know if there's a name for that one, but I feel like it would be called like... Peanut... <laughs> peanut? <laughs> okay, that's fair. Peanut butter... Phobia? Like, I get it, sometimes I do panic when peanut butter is stuck to the roof of my mouth. It's, it is pretty scary. It's like, is it ever gonna come off? And then it does, because it's just peanut butter stuck to the roof of your mouth. All right, number two, no mo phobia. The phobia of having no mo. No, it's the fear of being without your mobile phone. People with no mo phobia experience excessive anxiety about not having their phone with them, their battery being low, or their phone being out of service. Regardless of the circumstances, not being able to use their phone causes people with nomophobia to become panicked and experience extreme symptoms of anxiety. Which, I kind of feel like that's everybody. Unless you're one of the boomers that watches my video. No, even them. It might be rotary. Recent research has shown that around half of both men and women have anxiety anxiety surrounding their so sorry i'm a little hungover well what's new here i'm not an alcoholic but <sighs> so yeah they all have anxiety surrounding their cell phones further one study found that <coughs> <sighs> further one study found that 23 percent of male students were labeled as nomophobic and almost 77 percent checked their f their cell phones more than 35 times a day that's rookie numbers. I think it's completely reasonable to have this kind of fear. On a completely unrelated note, I do have a fear of spiders, and I know that's not a that's not a weird phobia, but I think the way I go about it might be weird. Fuck you! Fuck you! Get out! Scram! You fucking hobo! Bitch! What you thought? What you thought, you little fucking thotty? Fucking thotty, get body thotty. Whenever I find a spider in my room, I do kill it, and then typically I'll leave it out as like a warning sign to other spiders. I'll be honest, it seems to work. I think they see their friend dead and get pretty spooked because I haven't had spiders come into my room for. It's been two weeks now. Number three, erythemophobia, the fear of numbers. Many people grow up dreading math class. People with erythemophobia have a genuine fear of numbers. Oh, you know the saying, why is six afraid of seven? Is it because those kids, you know, cause seven, eight, nine, those kids like took that to heart. Oh my God, it all makes sense. So people with this fear usually experience anxiety associated with doing math or dealing with numbers in general versus fear of actually seeing the number symbols. Okay. So they're not scared of actual numbers. That's good to know. See, so yeah, I can see how that would be difficult to do anything in life, you know, seeing as everything has to do with numbers. So that's pretty fucking crazy. This does remind me of another phobia I have of accidentally saying the N-word. Um, I know I, I mentioned this in the Craigslist video. You know, it is a fear of me saying it in my sleep when sleeping next, not that I sleep with, you know, I guess if someone were, if like uh, an intruder broke into my home and they were outside my door listening to, 
hear if someone's in there and they just hear me say it and like somehow they got it on camera or something on another note i also have to practice rapping songs in the mirror so that i skip the n-word parts so i don't say them because that had not no that hasn't become an issue i just don't want it to become an issue pluto phobia the fear of pluto no it's the fear of money what the fuck? What does Pluto have to do with money? Many people probably wish they had more money, but Pluto-phobia is a fear of money or wealth. People with Pluto-phobia may fear wealthy people or fear becoming wealthy themselves. They generally dread money and having to deal with it. Yes, I see. This is, I didn't know it went undiagnosed for me. I completely get that. That's why I'm holding myself back for now. I'm just waiting to unleash my load pause you know once i overcome that fear i'll just get rich i'm scared of that do you know what i would do with money do you understand what kind of shit i would look at what's on my walls can you see that am i in the way <sighs> do you see that now imagine if i actually had money and i could like 3d print It'd be a fucking dildo on my wall now this does remind me i am scared of uranus well, not that anus. There's just something about it that's so eerie, and I don't know who decided to name it after an anus. Okay, number five, Xanaxophobia. Fear of the color yellow? Who the fuck is scared of yellow? People with this rare phobia are usually also afraid of any object that is yellow, such as school buses and flowers. Okay, just get over it. These people may avoid the color yellow at all costs, and they may even find yellow foods to be distressing. Are you kidding me? Are you scared of fucking bananas? That's bananas. <laughs> no, but that's fucking insane. I guess that is better than being scared of the color black, which leads me into my next phobia. I am scared of black people. No, that's a joke. Kind of. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, that's pretty gay, though. I don't know. Just fucking get over it. All right, number six, abluntophobia. The fear of bathing. Ablu abluntophobia is a fear of bathing, washing, or cleaning oneself. This phobia most often occurs in children and resolves with age. They avoid bathing and showering, which can lead to unpleasant body odor. Now, hold on. Is that the case, or are they just pheromone maxing? Because I'll be honest, it's a real thing, okay? My man from TikTok told me this. First off, I'm not stinky. I'm pheromone maxing. And a lot of people are actually surprised often when I say that I don't shower. And I believe it. I haven't seen any results from women. In fact, I haven't seen a woman in weeks. But I believe that... Maybe I do need a shower. A bluntophobia may result from a traumatic event involving water or a fear of getting wet. That makes sense why your mother doesn't get wet around me. Okay. Well, no. The phobia is related to aquaphobia, which is the fear of water. Who the fuck is scared of water? I don't want to say it. But black people? No, it's a joke. That's just a stereotype. That seems to be true from everything I've seen online. Number seven, octophobia. Fear of the number eight. Because seven... Oh, no, that doesn't apply. There's a specific number people are scared of? Octophobia is a fear of the number eight. Interestingly, there are few other known phobias to specific numbers. Except for the fear of numbers themselves, which we've seen, and the fear of number 13. People with octophobia fear the symbol 8 as it appears written down. They can also fear objects presenting in groups of 8. What the fuck? No, that's weird. That is weird. That one is so niche, I feel like. I'll give you one of mine that's niche. Maybe. I am deathly afraid of my belly button opening up and all of my insides just falling out. 
Nobody is allowed near my belly button. When everyone at the party starts doing body shots, I'm fucking gone. Get the fuck away. I think it's completely normal. It It's a hole. Why wouldn't it just open up? It could, right? Technically, holes open. That's what they're meant to do. And yes, that is a real fear. Optimus primophobia. Fear of opening one's eyes. What? I'm sorry, what? What are you doing the Helen Keller? This fear can be extremely debilitating. Yeah, you don't fucking say. What? You don't fucking open your eyes? So you just choose to be blind? As it is hard for an individual to carry out daily activities without opening their eyes, yeah. They may prefer to stay indoors or in dimly lit areas. This phobia is usually associated with a generalized anxiety disorder. This does remind me of one of my fears. I do have a fear of closing my eyes when kissing someone. So I keep my eyes wide open and I'm like staring at them. Some people find it unnerving, and to those people, I say, shut up. Globophobia, fear of balloons. That's so, that's so gay. I don't know. I just, what does that even mean? What are you scared of? The popping? Pop that pussy. Speaking of, one of my phobias is actually intimacy. <laughs> no, that that's pretty gay. Um, no, but I am scared of women. You know, it's like, why do you have s such different features from me? Why... Do you look like that? Why are you so hot? You're like an entirely different species. I don't know how to interact with you. Number 10 is... Hip... Hip... hip get the fuck out of here. Hippopopo... Hippo... Podomo... Hippopotomo monstrous... Quipodelopho... Hippopopo... Hippo... Hippopoto... Bonobus Hippopotomonstrosquilla Daffodilia is the fear of long words. Well, what the fuck is that then? Ironically, it's also the longest word in the dictionary. Are you serious? Fuck, that gave me anxiety. They're trying to make me look bad in front of I can read. It <laughs> it is believed that the phobia of long words develops from being embarrassed by pronouncing long long words incorrectly. This may occur while reading aloud in front of the class as a child or as an adult. Don't discriminate. The phobia can also be common in people with dyslexia. Well, I don't know who dyslexia is, but she sounds hot. <laughs> I don't know. I okay, so we've learned a lot today. I've gained a few more phobias thanks to this fucking awful site um let me know if you want to see more i have plenty more phobias in store thank you all for watching and i hope you guys don't have a fear of subscribing but if you do overcome it and subscribe that was so gay okay